Okay, we got the Bronco in here working on it. Uh, I forgot to video, of course, when we started tearing it down. Um, I'm bad for that. I can get in a rush and jump into things and wide open forget the video. But we had to do some testing with the fuel pump. Um, it was wired backwards. So the guy, the previous owner, I think, put a new pump on it and had it wired backwards so we wasn't getting any fuel to the fuel rail. <coughs> um, once we got that figured out, the fuel pressure was acting all crazy. It was uh, way too high. It was like 95 PSI. So we checked the return line going to the pump. It was clogged. Um, we fixed the fitting in it. I don't know if I got a piece of it here or not. That was, that was part of the line going into the return line. Uh, we got it fixed. We dropped the tank. Got it fixed. Um, <clears throat> we've got <coughs> the injectors. I'm probably making y'all dizzy swinging around. The injectors in it was clogged plumb up. I don't know how good you can see it on the video, but I got some pictures of it. I'll try to put in with the video. They had crud in them clogged completely up fuel pressure regulator same way the fuel rail was clogged up <clears throat> i flushed all the lines out we flushed the fuel rail out into some paper towels to see how much junk was in them i don't know if i still have that one paper towel but there's just piles of rusty crud coming out of the fuel rail and all that same stuff was in the injector or in, in all the injectors so <clears throat> we flushed all the fuel lines out the fuel rail we've got a new pressure regulator put on it and uh luckily a buddy had a good set of used injectors we're going to purchase them off of him and put them in that saved a little bit of money from buying new ones but we got all new injector o-rings and um, now we're going to start putting it together see if this puppy will run good it ran good off spraying the carburetor cleaner and throttle body so i believe once we get this fuel issue put back together I think it'll hopefully purr like a kitten we'll find out here in just a little while Hunter's about got this buckled up. He's got a few more things to snug up and vacuum lines to put on. He's knocked that in the head pretty quick. Our buddy Sean come up and helping us out. While he finishes this, I'm gonna go back here and hook the fuel lines back up and the filler neck, things like that. And this, we got filler neck clamps there's a clamp there's a clamp Let's see if my tripod will work here Thank you.
Apparently, they ain't screwdriver you. <laughs> Got a drawer full of screwdrivers down here. So the little hose only had a little squeeze clamp on it. No aggravating things. But pretty quick and easy. Uh, I'll take my hillbilly creepers up here and hook the fuel lines up now. Okay. Under the Bronco, there's a new fuel pump. I got some. I had some uh, jumper wires run to it, testing it. I'll be on them. Where all the fuel system was clogged up, I took, I took the fuel line loose back here in front of the pump and flushed it out all the way from here all the way to the front. I have flushed the fuel rail and everything out. We've had every line on it loose. It's, it's a double pump, double fuel filter system. Let me get the camera set here, good boy. So I've got to hook the return line back up and the main fuel line coming from the tank back up. Then we should be ready to start this up and try it. You can see I had a return line rigged up, testing. And up there I gotta hook the main fuel line back up. I'll do that real quick, then we'll see if she'll fire up. Okay, we got the old Bronco running. It's got good fuel pressure now. 40 PSI like it's supposed to have. Uh, it runs like a turd though. It runs really bad, missing pretty bad. And we got to look, and it's got factory plug wires on it. You can see the numbers on them, motor craft. Uh, it's got factory plugs in it. They're in horrible shape so you can see the gap on them things uh, we'll try a tune up next um, it definitely needs it so we'll see if that'll help it any but at least it's running now not just dead in the water and Hunter also had a good idea this uh, previous owner had told the guy that it was a Mustang motor to come up of like a 88 89 Mustang but it, it didn't it's not a ho motor so <clears throat> if that guy did think it come out of a a mustang then he may have the the firing order on the distributor wrong because a ho motor wires different than a non-ho motor so we're going to check that first and then probably give her a tune up and see what happens got the old bronco running Still need to tune up. A couple little odds and ends, but it's uh, the owner's gonna do a few little odds and ends to it. And, uh, so we're gonna take it back to him. And let him tinker with it. Him and let him and his son enjoy working on something. 